Welcome to The Turn On, a sexy, provocative, uninhibited interview unlike any other. By your hostess, Sharp. Jimmy John Louis, who is just so funny off camera. He is so hysterical and just such a really nice man like it's one thing to see a guy who's really just attractive and sexy but then to really get to meet him and see that he's just a really nice person you know it's really really cool so well, you know why don't you tell us a little bit of your history you know earlier we were talking about where you're from yeah so please tell my audience where you're from and you know haiti right. haiti yeah born in haiti mm -hmm. uh, but i grew up in paris and then i lived in, in spain for a few years then Italy, South Africa, England, and in between a lot of traveling. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, I'm definitely Haitian. And okay. I've been here for about nine years now. Okay. Yeah. Right. So now tell us a little bit about growing up. You were telling me earlier about one of the reasons he was saying he's, you know, kind of humble and, and the reason why you have to be humble is the way you grew up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, being from Haiti, especially for me, I grew up with, with uh, pretty much no electricity mm -hmm. and, and no, no clothes on. So that means no no TV, uh, no no fridge, no no stereo. So everything that uh, we wanted to to play with, we had to come up with it wow. as a kid, okay. which is great because right. you know it makes you your use your imagination, exactly. you know. <laughs> so 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 for me to to have started like that and to find myself here in Hollywood, right. and and in between I, I went to Paris and then Spain and then. Italy and then South Africa and then England and India and then Brazil, all those places, wow. you know, Woo. that put layer of, of experiences in my life to, mm -hmm. to, to make me realize that, mm -hmm. you know what, life is just what it is and, exactly. and, and we're all the same, really, right. you know, right. we might do different jobs, mm -hmm. uh, have different uh, titles, but deep inside we're all the same. So, so, yes, I mean, now, yes, I'm enjoying the little bit of success that, that, that I'm having, but at the same time, it could could disappear tomorrow, and wow. it wouldn't bother me, you know, because mm. I know what it is not to have. So that's why, you know, whatever I have now, I really understand it, you wow. know, and, and and I try not to take anything for for granted. Now, when you traveled, was there a reason why you traveled to all of these places? Uh, well, f first, first, when I moved from Paris, from from Haiti to Paris, it was because I was forced to go. You know, my my my, my mom went there, and I'll tell you quickly how my mom went. She was working for for white French family in Haiti, mm. and she was a maid. Okay. So when the family went to to uh, to France, they they pretty much took her with with them, wow. and she was able to work there. And uh, a few years later, she was able to get a ticket for my sister. Mm -hmm. A few years later, a ticket for me. Uh, another couple of years for my brother and for my dad. So that's how we all ended up in Paris. Okay. But but Paris was a struggle, you know, at first. Okay. I mean, it's it's it's. Paris is a mess for, for, for brothers and sisters. Mm. Paris is a mess for brothers and sisters. Really? It's very, very difficult. We don't know it here. We don't understand, but, uh, but, but it's very hard. You mm -hmm. don't have any backup. You don't have any, uh, uh, any community, any black community right. in Paris at mm -hmm. all or in France in general. Okay. So I struggled there. You know, I found myself in situations where I ended up being homeless, you mm -hmm. know, where I had to squat apartments or houses, wow. meaning by that, you know, going to empty places mm -hmm. and try to sleep there for the night mm -hmm. or week or month. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, I'll go back to those places at night and then the door will be locked wow. because the right. owner realized that somebody Somebody's was squatting. Right, right. And then you find yourself outside, yeah. three o'clock in the morning, freezing cold. It's what? like, what you gonna do? Mm. That's the real test of life. 